Hello, I am S.P. Basavraj, your host for this talk on the use of laser in eye surgery. This topic comes under medical applications of lasers in Module 3 of VTU Engineering Physics Syllabus under the NEP scheme effective from the year 2021. First of all, let's try to understand a bit about what exactly is the problem with the eye that's dealt with a laser. In the figure, you see the structure of the eyeball. Except our cornea, the entire eyeball has an outer covering called sclera. At the rear side of the eyeball, the inside of the sclera is made up of a dark pigmented shell called choroid. You know, the white of the eye seen from the front is also a part of sclera. Under natural conditions, the retina remains attached to the choroid and covers it like a membrane. But sometimes, it may get detached from the choroid because of disease, injury or degenerative changes. If not prop promptly treated, it may result in blindness over the detached portion. The only way to overcome this problem is to reset the retina back to its original state by attaching it back to choroid. That's the medical problem the eye surgeons can deal today routinely by using laser. The retina is reattached to the choroid by heating it over a number of tiny spots as if it's a welding. Though the task was being done earlier also by conventional methods, it used to be extremely difficult and was not always successful. After the advent of laser, because of the precision in controlling the operation, it became a highly efficient surgery in welding the retina to the choroid. A tiny laser beam of predetermined intensity enters from the front of the eye, passes through transparent tissues, lipid parts such as aqueous and vitreous humors to reach the exact spot where the welding is needed. The beam is just a flash that lasts for about a millisecond. For such a short duration, the flash just escapes the notice of the patient and hence avoids any involuntary contraction of the eye muscle. The laser energy cuts and coagulates the spot instantly. So it's a bloodless surgery. Since no wound is exposed to outside environment, no secondary infections. Now it's a long time since cases of eye surgery are dealt with as outpatients. Here is the notes for your reference on use of laser in eye surgery. Thanks for watching.